Happening today, the man convicted of murdering Chicago teenager Blair Holt back in 2007 is in court this morning. Michael Pace is being sentenced again. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the Leighton Criminal Court building with more. Hi, Mike. Hi, and this was set for a 10.30 a.m. start, but when I left the courtroom a short while ago, it had yet to begin. Now, the judge has a sentencing range that he can hand down between 32 years and 100 years in this case. That's because an appellate court panel found that Michael Pace, seen here opening fire on a crowded CTA bus, was denied a fair sentencing hearing the first time around. What happened on the bus is not up for debate. The then 16-year-old Pace was gunning for a gang rival, but shot and killed Blair Holt instead. Pace pled guilty to the crime and was given 100 years. But the appellate court judges said the trial court judge considered more than just the facts of the case before issuing that sentence. So they ordered a new sentencing hearing. Holt's parents vehemently disagree with that decision. I shouldn't have to stand here today for somebody to be resentenced for something they know they did, and we have evidence that they, that they did it. I think the only reason that we're here is because they feel sorry for criminals who kill innocent victims in the city of Chicago. I mean, it's not fair to us as victims to keep reliving this. Now, according to the appeals court panel, the judge in the initial sentencing hearing let his opinions about gun violence in Chicago affect his decision before he handed down that sentence. They say that was improper, and that's why they ordered this new sentencing hearing. Now, that sentencing hearing took place a couple weeks ago. We expect the sentence to be handed up rather shortly. Now, the Holtz say they think this just gives the killer of their son a second chance, a chance they say he doesn't deserve, and they say anything less than the initial 100 years to them will feel like a miscarriage of justice. Reporting live at the Criminal Courts Building at 26 in California, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Mike, thank you.